Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today is a very short video and a short look at a product that came out several months ago and it's a product from e-ink that's not available for consumers. What a weird little thing to do. So it's called e-ink me note and let's take a look at it. All right, so e-ink me note that's what they are talking about and what is e-ink me note well it's a little bit old news by this time but i wanted to cover it because it was interesting but i also wanted to kind of wait uh, for a couple of months and see if somebody picked up the product or not now let me explain what me note is well e-ink made a dedicated 10.3 inch e-ink screen panel that is able to communicate wired there's one place that i read that it has a bluetooth but i can't verify that anywhere else so i'm um, i don't know uh, but i know that for sure with the usb cable you hook it up to your pc or your mac and then it not only acts like an extended e-ink screen, but it also has an EMR uh, Wacom uh, layer on top. So you can use an EMR pen to actually mark up the documents that you've opened up on your PC. You just dump them onto the screen, you mark them up, or you can sign documents, or you can use it as an input. Some people have been looking forward to this, and, it, and granted, it has limited kind of application. Now, MeNote as itself, it's not an independent device. It doesn't have a power source, first of all, it doesn't have a battery. That's why it's able to be only 160 grams light. But it is six point something millimeters thick, which is like really, really thick compared to it's thicker than Remarkable 2, thick, thicker than um, Note Air 2, thicker than Note 5. So I don't understand why would they make something that doesn't even have batteries so thick, but maybe it was a structural thing. I don't know. Either way, um, it's very, very light, which is a good thing, but it depends on the power source from your PC. So it is meant to be a companion device, extra screen, input tablet, signing tablet, scribbling tablet that will work in conjunction with your PC. Primary uh, applications are, of course, schools and certain specific job applications. Um, but here's the kicker. It's not being sold to consumers, right? So what E-Ink did here was they designed an entire product, they called it Me Note, but it's only available as OEM product to, uh, that other producers and manufacturers can actually just buy and stamp their logo on it and then sell it as their product, well, you know, <laughs> in, in that kind of way. Um, so the reason why I wanted to wait a couple of months since the release of this news was I was waiting to see if some of the manufacturers are going to actually pick up the uh, e-ink me note and uh, roll them out to consumers under their own brand. But so far that has not happened. So we have a very strange situation where you have like talk about niche within a niche within a niche type of a product and to top it all off it costs around $300 which is really, really high as far as I'm concerned. Now, it looks pretty, um, it looks normal. It's just a tablet, very kind of focused, but as you can see, you hook it up to your PC and then you can work on your Excel sheets, on your documents, on your assignments or anything like that. So here are the specifications, as you can see, oh yeah, six millimeters exact. So that's pretty much what Me Note is, a very simple, very focused accessory to your PC. Right? And I think that it would have been interesting to actually see it, but not at that price point. Because at that price point, it's just simply way, way too high. Um, maybe, maybe the problem is that, that just, just the panel itself costs a lot. And if that's the case, then that's, that's a limitation of the ink technology itself. But either way, if this comes out and it costs $300, you save a little bit more and then for 420 you can buy a Note Air 1, for example, or for 300 and something you can buy a second-hand Note Air 1, for example, which has an Android, which will have apps that are able to do this. So there's that also uh, points to consider for sure. But either way, I just wanted to cover this uh, device because I found it interesting as a concept where the e-ink technology and e-ink as manufacturers, where they're thinking, where they're kind of testing out the market and seeing 
who picks up on what. I think that this would have been picked up by many more manufacturers if it had been marketed a little bit more and if the price point was lower. I think the main obstacle here is the price point because all of the manufacturers are simply looking at this and saying like, okay, but how do we sell this? I mean, who's going to be cashing out that much money for that? Essentially, like an e-ink screen that can integrate with the platform. Definitely useful, don't get me wrong. But is it 300 bucks useful? I don't know. I really don't know. So, yeah, e-ink me note. Interesting proposition, but definitely not at that price range, at least for me. Now, maybe, and this is most likely the case, is that uh, this kind of thing has been adopted or is being in the process of adoption by schools or some big corporations or things like that. That may very, may well be, because this is most likely the central area of focus for a product like this. But I think it would have been interesting, at the very least interesting, to have an offering for those select few users who are willing to buy it on an individual basis that we're not kind of locked to wait if another consumer will kind of pick it up or not, but actually to offer it directly on sale by e-ink so that those who are interested that they can actually buy it because this is definitely a niche within a niche within a niche. I don't see any of the big players kind of picking this up and saying, yeah, we're running with this product, especially not at that price range because they're not gonna sell a lot of units. So that's not an interesting proposition for them. But you know, since they all, since e-ink already has the product lying around and it works why not just make it available for people to who want it to actually buy it that would have been a nice thing but that's what we have so let me know down in the comments down below if this is a product that you are interested in or not is this something that you might be able to use or might want to use for your application is this like a dream come true that you've been waiting for your entire life or not i hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell down below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye